if we have a genetic memory, bees are deeply embedded in that memory because we've been closely associated with in, this insect from the very beginning, literally millions of years. That whole history of, of, of honey hunting, we see these uh, very old paintings in Africa. There's a great painting of a guy using a smoker. Um, you know, two and a half thousand years before Christ yeah. um, to control and, and, and gather honey. There are 90 food crops that are dependent on the bees for pollination. Your diet and mine is dependent on that pollination connection. What lies in store for the agriculture industry if the bees go away? You like rice? If the bees go away, you'll have lots of rice, corn, wheat, Without movable insect pollinators, and honeybees are by far the most efficient and the most easily managed to do that, we wouldn't have our fruits, we wouldn't have our vegetables, cows and our dairy industry and our beef industry. If we want a diet that is more than gruel, we need insect pollinators. So when billions of bees began to mysteriously disappear last year... Something is killing our honeybees in staggering numbers. There's a name for what's happening, colony collapse disorder. You can't turn on the television or pick up a newspaper or a magazine now without reading about CCD. This is the yard where I had the highest winter losses, 80%. 10 out of 12 didn't make it. It's occurred in almost 30 states now. There's going to be a big collapse, not only in our country, but 135 countries worldwide, and it's going to be bad. Colony collapse is a condition where we see the rapid loss of the adult bee population. And we know that it was a rapid loss because often you'll find lots of young bees or baby bees in the colony, and you'd never expect bees to leave their young behind. Animals don't generally abandon their children. Here's the queen here. And you can see that's a nice patch of brood. She's really trying, and, and you can see eggs right up onto the outside. So she's trying very hard to build that population, but the bees are dying faster than they can be replaced. The bees somehow are becoming disoriented, and they're dying in the field, or they become so disoriented that they can't find their way back home. But we don't find dead bees in the colony, and we don't find dead bees in the apiary. They've flown away.